Hello YouTube, I'm Nye from the Finale Guitar Shop in Sheffield and you're watching Folk Friend, your one-stop shop for Celtic backing guitar tutorials. In today's video I'm going to be carrying on my little tutorial about waltzes. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to play Raglan Road as immortalised by Van Morrison and the Chieftains. So let's have a quick little look at the chords you're going to need. You can find a complete chord scale for shapes which are in the key of D major and easy to change between and it's those shapes that I'm going to be using throughout this video. If you want to find the complete video showing you all seven of those which is all the chords you need for folk tunes in D major you can find that in a little card in the corner now but I'll run you through the main ones quickly. In the very simple version of the song, which I'm going to cover first, you're only going to need four shapes. Those are D, a bog standard D chord with uh, three fingers like so. Uh, miss off the bottom two strings when you play that one, and it'll sound like that. The next chord you're going to need is G. What you're going to do is keep your ring finger where it was in the D chord, and you're going to use that as a pivot finger um, around which all the others can kind of easily manoeuvre themselves. So to go to your G chord, you keep that finger on, put your middle finger down the bottom on the 3rd fret, index finger on the 2nd fret of the A string, and add your little finger on the top E string, 3rd fret. And that will give you what I call country G. Um, a lot of people play G like this, but this G is just as good and easier to get to from D, which is why I always use this one. Another chord that you're going to need is going to be um, B minor. You could play B minor as a bar chord like this, if that's what you're familiar with. But if you'd like an easier version of B minor, which is easier to change to, then put your G shape down, um, take the middle finger off it, and take the little finger off it, and just leave the other two. And then put the middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and that is going to give you that. With this chord, don't play the bottom string. Um, and what you get is a really nice jazzy B minor 11 chord, which is a really good substitute for B minor and also much, much, much easier to play. The very last chord you're going to need then is going to be A. And what I'm going to play instead of A is actually an A7 sus4 chord. Um, this sounds really nice. It works just as well as A would in context and it's easy to get to. So you keep your third finger where it's been throughout. The ring finger stays on the third fret there. And then your index finger is going to go on the second fret of the D string. And again, you don't play the bottom string, and that gives you that really nice suspended A7 chord. That's an A7 sus4 to give it its proper name. So what we'll do now, using just those four shapes, I will shout out the chords to the simple version of Raglan Road. If you want to play along at home, get your free download. I've put this up as a free download with the words. Thank you to Barry in Australia for sending me this and for requesting this really great song as well. Um, you can download it down below. While you're there, you can also download the chords for the more complicated version, which I've made. That is based on the Chieftain's actual chords that they play. And I'm going to be showing you in a minute how to play that version. So let's have a little go through the slow version together. I'll shout out what chords I'm playing as I play them, and hopefully using the pattern covered in the first part of this video, uh, linked in the card in the corner of the screen, if you haven't seen it already, then you will be able to play along at home. One, two, three, two, two, and D. D. Seven sus four G G D B minor D D and A seven sus four D D D up to G. is the whole of the verse. The structure of the song is a verse, another verse exactly like the first one, an instrumental verse for the guitarist exactly like the other two, another verse, another instrumental verse, and a final verse. 
So basically you're going to play exactly what I just played, but six times, and that is the whole song. Let's have a look at the more complicated version of the chords with some slightly uh, jazzier extra kind of substitutions thrown in. This is based on the chords played by the organist in the Chieftain's version. Um, these are all still chord shapes covered in my quick change chords uh, in the key of D video. You can find all seven of them in the little video that I linked in the corner before. We've got D, same as before. We've got a brand new one, which is F sharp minor 11. This is basically a way to avoid playing the tricky bar chord that is an F sharp minor. This sounds probably nicer in most contexts and it's much, much, much easier to play. You put your index finger on the bottom string, second fret. You let that finger just gently rest on the A string so that it kind of mutes it a little bit. So that if you hit it with your plectrum, it doesn't make a noise. Middle finger goes on the second fret of the D string and your ring finger goes on the second fret of the G string. And then you can play all the strings and you get that, which is an F sharp minor 11. I may just shout out F sharp when we're going through the chords because it's quite hard to fit all those words in that very small space. Uh, after that we've got D, we've got country G and we've got A7 sus4. In this version, as well as A7 sus4, I'm going to be changing from A7 sus4 to A7, the normal chord. Um, so that's index finger, second fret of the D string, middle finger, second fret of the B string, play all the strings except the bottom E string. Like so. The reason why the Chieftains have done that is because if you play a sus4 chord and then go to a 7 chord, um, that's a very common thing to do for chord 5 in a major key. It really wants to go back to chord 1, and chord 5 going back to chord 1 is the universal end of a section marker. So if you go from chord 5 with a sus4 chord to chord 5 as a 7 chord, and then back to chord 1, then that makes your sections sound nice and finished, and you can use that trick in all of your songs. It doesn't even have to be folky, it just has to go 5-1 at the end of a section. We've got a B minor 11 chord in there, that's the same uh, lazy B minor that I told you about before. And that is all the chords that you're going to need for this version. So we'll do the same thing as before, I'll play it through nice and slowly, and you can follow along with my karaoke chords at home or wherever you are. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and D, F sharp minor 11, D and uh, G, D, A7 sus4, two Ds, here comes a G, and another one, F sharp minor 11, to B minor 11, F sharp minor 11, and B minor 11, A7 sus4 to A7, and G, G, F sharp minor 11, B minor 11, F sharp minor 11 to B minor 11, A7 sus4 and A7, D, F sharp minor 11, D and G, and then D, A7 sus4, and you're back to D for the end of the tune. Something like that. So same deal as before, you play all of that through six times, and that's the whole song. I hope you've got something out of this video, I really hope it's been helpful to you if you're trying to learn this great song. If you would like any more tips or I can help with anything else, or you've got anything else you'd like me to make videos about, leave me a little comment in the box down below, I'd love to hear from you. Hit the little like button while you're there, it really helps the channel out. And if you want all my free tutorials straight to your inbox, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. Well worth a look. If you're looking for loads more tips, strumming patterns, chord shapes, music theory, everything you need to know about how to play Irish music on the guitar, Get hold of a copy of my book, it's called Backing Guitar Techniques for Traditional Celtic Music. You can find it in the corner of the screen right now. I also give one-on-one -on -one lessons over Skype, Zoom or WhatsApp. So leave me a comment or drop me a message uh, in the contact page of my website, which is linked in the box down below. And I will get back to you to book your first lesson, which is absolutely free. So you can give it a try and see how you get on. Get in touch, I don't bite. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching then, I'll see you for more tutorials very, very soon.